Hello and welcome to all beginner levels of Regex Crossword. I stream Regex Crossword on Twitch and this is a cut from that stream. All right, so let's look at this one. So we have a character set here um, and we cannot have S, P, E, A, or K in it. And then we've got one or more of not the letters in speak. Cool, good to know. Well, let's look at this one. Um, we can have the letters H, E. Um, by the way, those pipes, um, they do mean or, and you can put multiple characters before or after them. This is the first time we've kind of seen that, so I wanted to point it out. So you have H-E, L-L, or we have one or more O's. Cool. So I think that if we pop over to this one, we'll probably be able to figure out which of these options are supposed to go in here. So now we can have E-P, I-P, or E-F. That's my cat, Pearl. She's very noisy and friendly. Um, and <laughs> hold on, let me pick her up because she'll stop whining. <sighs> All right, this is Pearl. Say hi, Pearl. It's P E R O because I'm a nerd. There, can you be happy? Okay, that should be quiet. <laughs> so we have E P or I P or E F. Um, since none of the options here end in I, we know that it has to be. E, which means we kind of know this one has to be H, right? Because that's the only way it's going to match this option. Uh, <laughs> um, so Nymphadora in chat just asked, what's, what's this? Um, I'm playing Regex crossword. So now we have um, a character set that has the letters in please in it. Um, we've got this E repeated in here. Uh, this is mostly to make it the letters in please because that additional E doesn't actually affect the character set. Um, it's only if you have kind of like pipes in your character set that the location of that'll matter. Um, so we've got one or more of the letters in please. Now we know it can't be, um, this one can't be any of the letters in speak, right? Um, which kind of removes that P and that E and that A and that S. Um, which leaves us only with L. Cool. All right, cool. So this starts with E, and it can be EP or EF, and P is the only one that's included in the word please. Oh, it spelled out help. <laughs> that's kind of a heartbreaking start to your first puzzle, puzzle on beginners. All right, so let's see. Um, this first one has a capture group, and it's got ors in it. So um, I can have either an A, B, or a C in this first one, and then this second one has to match whatever came out of the capture group. Oh, now we have some more challenging ones. All right, so this dot here indicates that it can be any character, white space, digits, symbols, whatever. And this splat indicates that there can be zero or more of them. Um, this M question mark means that you have zero or one Ms. Um, let's see. Ooh, this one just has an O. That's cool. So we know that we have to have an O either here or here. And then we have that dot splat again, which indicates that you can have zero or more of absolutely any character. All right, so we know that there has to be an O in here. And there can't be an O in this A, B, or C, which means we know that the second one has to be an O. <laughs> um, Nymphadora over in chat just asked, so what made you decide to stream? Um, <laughs> which is kind of funny to me because part of the reason I decided to stream are, are the two people chatting back and forth in chat right now. Um, so my friend Nymphadora1 um, is a streamer and I thought it was really inspiring how accessible and fun she made it. Um, and I started like watching streams because of her. And <laughs> then my other friend in chat Megan, um, who was kind of asking me those initial questions about Regex crossword, um, she's the one that introduced me to Noop Cat and gave me the idea of um, streaming programming. So there you go. <laughs> That's why I decided decided to start streaming. All right, so um, let's go back to this. So um, to match this Regex stream. Um, or this regex pattern, it has to be A, B, O, E, or S, K. And since we know that this one has to be O in order to match this one, 
this one has to be E in order to match this one. All right, and then over here we have FE and BE as our regex strings that match E. Um, these parentheses form a capture group, but because we don't have that slash one, um, it's not repeated. So um, we kind of know that this has to be BE because the only option for this one is A, B, or C. So we put that B there. <laughs> and then um, because we have this B repeated, we know that this one has to be B in order to match it. Awesome. Hitting that validate button. Okay, so uh, Nymphedora is saying I need to categorize my stream, but I don't know how to add that. So I guess I'm just gonna have to add that after the stream or maybe next time. Um, I tagged it with programming and software development, which should hopefully help out, but. All right, let's see. So our pattern here, so we have another character set that has the letters Cobra in it, and we know there's one or more of each of those letters. Um, our dot means any character, and we can have one or more of that any character, and then it has to be repeated um, because we've formed this capture group, and now um, we're using that capture group again with this slash one. So let's see. I don't think we've quite figured it out. Oh, but this one here um, kind of helps us. Uh, this one here, because it's got that up arrow, which means not, and it includes every single letter in the word Cobra, except for the O. Um, we know that this one has to be an O because it said that, like this one says that it can't be C, B, R, or A. Um, and then we've got our plus for one or more characters. Um, and because we're repeating the capture group from this one right there, we know that this one has to be an O. All right, let's see. So, <laughs> um, this one says that it can't be any of these letters, and I'm looking at this. So, um, this regex string right here says that whatever matches this has to be either A, B, um, one or more O's or OR. Um, and because R and B are both forbidden by this not every letter except O and Cobra, this one has to be O. And then this one has to be O because we're repeating this capture group. So it looks like the answer to our beginner puzzle of ghost is which is kind of spooky and adorable. <laughs> All right, we got people chatting and a very creepy face and chat. That's fun. <laughs> All right, let's see this one. Oh, this one's really cool. Okay, so this is going to be exciting because we get to pick any of these pretty much. Um, so here we have a dot, which means any character or symbols or whatever, and then we have a question mark. Um, which means that we have zero or one of those, and then we have another dot, which is one or more of those. And let's see. Ah, okay, so this is cool. So this backslash um, means that you're escaping the character, I think. Oh, no, wait, sorry, that's the other direction. So when it's a forward slash, you're escaping the character. When it's a backslash, you're not. So uh, this one has to be two backslashes if we put something there. Let's see. This one establishes a character set with a star in it, right? Um, hmm. That's kind of interesting. I think this means that this has to be a star, which would match this. And I think this means this can be a star. All right. So let me explain kind of um, what I'm thinking here, right? So. I'm thinking that because this has square brackets around the star, that star is being treated as a character and it's not being treated as a zero or more splat, right? Okay, so this plus as usual means one or more of whatever character matches that character, right? Now this slash right here, at first I thought it was a forward slash, right? And forward slash escapes the special meanings that regex adds to characters so that you can match things like plus signs. 
Um, but it's not. It's a backslash, and backslash means nothing. <laughs> so what that means, I think, is that this regex string is saying that there is one or more, which is what the plus sign means, of the backslash character, which is why I think this is two backslashes back to back. Um, dots mean any character, right? So a star and a slash both match that. And just because like we've got the plus sign here saying one or more doesn't mean that they have to be the same character. It just means that they have to match that pattern, right? So like both of these match that pattern of anything, right? Uh, then over here we have our dot, right? And our question mark. Um, that means there's zero or one of that and dot, as we mentioned, can be anything. And then we have dot, which means one or more of anything. So star slash should match that one as well. Um, <laughs> to be honest, I'm not sure whether it would be like, oh, you have one of like any character and then you have one that matches this or whether it would just be like, oh, you have two characters that match dot plus. I, I think it could go either way, but it, it should work. Okay, I'm a little bit nervous about this one. So I'm gonna hit enter. Oh, hold on. Enter and validate. Okay, that worked, that worked. Okay, I'm really excited about this because I was a little nervous about that one. To be honest, I always get a little bit nervous when I hit the validate that I've just forgotten how regex works, but that worked, which is great. Um, Snot Rocket Scientist just asked me if I studied computer science. Um, so I got a degree in information technology with a concentration in software development, and I've been doing uh, web development professionally for seven years now. So kind of, I mean, I never officially studied computer science, but I'm, you know, kind of know it by now. <laughs> All right, let's look at this next puzzle. So we have forward slash D. That means any digit. And I'm sure about that this time. This is not a repeat of the slash S incident. Um, and then we have square brackets, which means that this character has to match two, four, eight, or zero. Cool. Let's look at this one. So this one says it's 18, 19, or 20. Um, and because this is going to match slash D, we have no idea which of these it's going to be. So let's look at this one. All right. So this character right here um, is going to match this character set, um, which is that 6, 7, 8, or 9. Um, the only one that's in both 2, 4, 8, and 0 and 6, 7, 8, and 9 is eight, so at least we know that one for sure. Now, this one ends in a slash D, which can be any digit, so that one's a little bit harder to figure out. But let's look at this one. Um, so over here we have an or. This one can be five, nine, or seven, right? So now that we know that this one can be five, nine, or seven, we can look at this one and say which of these ends in nine, um, and the 19 does, so we now know that this is 19, right? Um, let's see. And because we know that this one, um, the only one that matches both of these is 9, we can pop over here and say that this one is going to be 4. Cool. Validate. Oh! That was all of the beginner ones. All right. Uh, I guess okay, we've got 30 seconds before YouTube whisks you away somewhere else. So start furiously clicking There's a like button subscribe button bell icon. Um, I've got links and stuff in the description uh, What else there are social links below me? Ooh, if future Rachel did her job, right? There's a video over here Ooh. Um, What else? Oh most importantly Thank you for watching um, I don't know if we'll ever see each other again or if you're going to another of my videos. So, aloha.